Hey, it's Kyle here, and it's time for my latest book review. And today I'll be reviewing The Minority Report and Other Classic Stories by Philip K. Dick. Um, as the title implies, this is a collection of short stories by Philip uh, K. Dick. I believe there is like about 17 or 18 um, of his short stories in here. If you're into sci-fi, uh, Philip Dick is one of those legendary names of one of the greatest sci-fi writers in the 20th century. Probably most people uh, today, if you're not in a, a huge, you know, diehard sci-fi person, the thing that you probably best know Philip um, Dick for is um, several of his uh, stories became uh, TV shows or movies later in date, as like the name of this uh, collection implies, The Minority Report was a, sh a short story by Philip K. Dick that obviously got turned into the um, awesome movie, in my opinion, by Tom Cruise. So, you know, he's a, his short stories are awesome. He's also, of course, written a lot of full-length novels and stuff like that. Um, so one, after reading this book, because this was actually the first chance I'd actually had to, had to read any of Philip K. Dick's work, I would certainly recommend you check out either his short stories or his full-length uh, novels because he is an awesome writer. His stuff is very interesting, very inventive, um, takes some very unique story arcs, has some great characters. Um, I really love these short stories because even though most of them are in um, this setup about 15 to 25 pages, he's able to get a whole lot of plot f across in that short amount, amount of time. Like the Minority Report, I believe in this one was only, uh, let me double check, I think it was just like 20 pages or something. So it's interesting to see how you know a short story that short was able to inspire a full length movie and a lot of the stuff... <laughs> The short story, a lot of the stuff, it supplied a huge amount of the movie content, although the storyline was changed a whole lot. Let's see, the Minority Report in this one was 32 pages. So that's 32, you know, it's a little bit longer than I said, but uh, still, you know, it's very short, and it inspired this awesome full-length movie. Um, one thing I'd also really enjoyed about these short stories, which I've heard about before, is um, although these sh stories aren't necessarily all connected, there are certain elements of time together. So, for example... Um, there are certain companies that Phil K. Dick references that exist in all the worlds these short stories exist, or a lot of times the same government type body exists, which is a nice little, you know, kind of Easter egg thing that kind of ties all these stories together. The thing I kind of compare it to most, you know, in, I guess modern um, sci fi would be something like uh, how, like, J.J. Abrams. Um, has a lot of, you know, Easter eggs that he always references the same type of stuff in all of his movies. Um, for example, like uh, Slush Show, The Drink, it makes an appearance in a lot of his movies. And there's a lot of directors or authors, they'll have some sort of little pop culture thing that they'll throw into all their stuff. Pixar is really famous for that. Um, so, the Phil K. Dick thing, with him doing that, it kind of, I really enjoyed it because it made you feel like that even though you were reading really, you know, 18 different stories, they kind of felt like they were connected because of those little things he used to give them a little bit of similarity, even though they really were set within their own world. So I would certainly recommend if you're looking for some great short stories to read, check out um, Phil K. Dix. They're awesome, uh, very enjoyable, and, um, you know, like I said, they're great. If you've read any of Phil K. Dick's works, let me know in the comment section below whatever your some of your favorite Phil K. Dick works. I'd definitely be interested in hear what you've enjoyed of his work. Um, let me know, because I'm interested in checking out more stuff by Phil K. Dick. So, hope you enjoyed the review, and I will see you the next time.